Salome. This small burial cave in the Lachish region near Jerusalem may give us the answer and shed light on a significant figure in the Gospels. In this cave, there are dozens of wall inscriptions bearing the name Salome. The name Salome is known to historians and was a common name. It's connected to the Hebrew word for peace. We know women who bore this name from the time of the Hasmoneans and Herod the Great. But these inscriptions are from the Byzantine era, and they're associated with pilgrims who believe that this is the burial site of Salome, Jesus' midwife. The Israel Antiquities Authority has known about the caves for years, but only recently was it excavated and researched. We knew about the cave at least for 40 years. Everything was buried down. But now, during the excavations to open up the cave for the public, we found this big yard, one of the biggest yards in Israel, of uh, uh, the entrance to the burial cave. Salome is mentioned in the Proto-Evangelium of James as an important part of the nativity scene. The book says that Salome could not believe that she was asked to deliver a virgin's baby, and her hand became dry and only healed when she held the baby's cradle. Over the years, Salome was not mentioned in most Western disciplines, but during the Byzantine era, she was a source of attraction for pilgrims who came to worship her. The excavation here found a row of shops, which according to experts, sold clay lambs for pilgrims who came to worship Salome. Every pilgrim who came to this place bought a candle to the tomb. We can show you a variety of candles from different times. We had a chance to film the discovery of one of these precious items right in front of us. We just found here a part of a clay candle from the early Islamic period. We can see here the handle and here is the candle wick and the hall where they put out the oil. We haven't cleaned it yet, but we can also see the decorations. Among the many inscriptions on the walls, we see some in Syrian Arabic, which indicates that even after the Byzantine era ended, the place continued to be a pilgrimage attraction. However, the story of Salome has vanished from mainstream Christian tradition. Nevertheless, we see that even today, Christian pilgrims still visit this cave. The Israel Antiquities Authority hopes to complete the excavations in coming months and open it up to the public soon. Perhaps late recognition for a forgotten female figure of the story of Jesus.